Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, I am Julia. I run a fashion and style blog, Julia Marie B, where I focus on inspiring and teaching you how to maximize your wardrobe by making smart strategic purchases and shopping your closet. Today, we are going to go over the best Amazon designer dupes that I have purchased and um, worn and then a little Zara haul. I'm doing it together because I don't think I have enough of each to do a full-fledged Amazon designer dupe video or a Zara haul video. So we're gonna do a little bit of both. Um, we're gonna start with Zara because I'm wearing one of the items. I'm wearing some of the designer stuff from Amazon too. Maybe it's not the point. So the this um, turtleneck is actually a sweatshirt, a little bit of an exaggerated like sleeve slash, slash underarm. If I stand up to a point, you can see it's a little cropped. I went a size down so that I could get as much of a fitted look as I could. This is still available, I think it's like $25.90, very affordable and they have quite a few different color options, if I'm not mistaken. The uh, second clothing item from, Z I'm breathing hard because I just ran up and down the stairs. This is like my fourth video in a row filming. Whew, your girl's ready for a break. Anyways. So our next um, Zara clothing item is this uh, knit, it's a knit set. This is the, it's like a dolman sleeve crop top with a high waist jogger. I did a try on, um, we'll insert that clip here so that you can actually see the set on because I'm sure you want to see it on. This is the um, knit Zara suit set, suit set on. Definitely, without a doubt, one of my favorites that I purchased this season. Super crop top, super high waist pant though. Uh, I am 5'4". You can still see a little stomach, which she's not ready for because it's December. <laughs> she was good a month ago, but not this month. One of my favorite, pur they're all my favorite purchases from Zara. They were all really, really good buys. But um, this item, I just, it was it's amazing. It was an amazing, amazing purchase, $29.90. They have a like cobalt blue color. Um, I saw this floating around Instagram. One of the bloggers I follow, Sarah Wisted had it. And I feel like I saw it and I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. But like, I'm never gonna wear that in real life, which I don't wear in real life, I wear it for photos. Um, so I can't, I can't. And then I just kept seeing it. And I'm like, I freaking need it. It's so cute. Um, it's, I still have the tags on it. Not that I can return it because I've had it longer than 30 days. But <laughs> I love it. The only reason I don't wear it in real life is because I work a lot, so most of the time when I'm like out, like running around, I'm kind of, I'm running errands. So I need a crossbody bag, something that I can just like go move quickly and, and grab things. Um, if I had more like, you know, friend nights and date nights, I would absolutely probably bring a clutch, but I don't because my life is really lame because all I do is work. But if you have a more exciting life, this is really cute <laughs> and I think you should get it. Our last item from Zara, I actually purchased um, this summer during the summer sale. I think it's in June or July. And it is this um, combat boot. And you can see, we'll move it a little bit closer. You can see it has the stud and rhinestone detailing. This was on my um, fall winter style wish list was a pair of combat boots that were Julia approved. And if you don't know, I really like rhinestones and fur and metal and I like shit like that. So I was super excited when I found these. I think they were $40 on clearance during the summer sale. Um, and they were a good buy. They're definitely a good purchase for me. And then they have, they're not available anymore, but I'll still show you. They have the zipper um, detail inside so that you don't have to, cause that would be hell to have to unbuckle and whatever. But anyways, right there. So those are uh, my purchases that I made from Zara this season. I guess the boots are kind of iffy on if it's a season or not. Um, all of them were really, really good buys. I recommend every single one of them. And they were all pretty affordable, I would say. So we're going to get into our Amazon designer dupes. Um, for the first one, it is this Hermes Kelly inspired bag. I had no idea that this was a dupe. I did not know that. And it's not really a dupe, it's a straight up knockoff. I was unaware, I did not know that. Um, I just wanted this summer, I really wanted a bag 
that was summery and light and airy, but not a fucking straw tote. So I was like, I would really like a really cool, clear PVC bag. So I went on Amazon, searched PVC handbag. This was one of the top, top items. And I was like, I fuck with that. And I purchased it. This is the large size. I don't know if it's still available. Um, I, I'll look and I'll link it below, but it is, it, it, it's kind of a hassle to get in and out of. Let's see. So, hold on. See, it's a hassle already. Oh, uh, can you see what? I, okay, there we go. And then it flips up. I have a fur, like a faux fur um, meat pou pouch thing from Madewell inside just to make it more fall. And it does come with a crossbody strap, which I, of course, I wear crossbody, but because I haven't been using it lately, um, just because it's winter, I keep the. I, I just had it stored and I thought this was cute and it inspired me to potentially use it for fall winter. That's all I'm saying. So it does have the crossbody. I'm 5'4". It's a very short strap, just so you know. Uh, size large. If it's still available, I'll link it below for you guys. For the other, I guess, main accessory that I got, um, it is the Gucci Prince Town Fur uh, Loafer Dupes. I, this was intentional. I knew what I was doing when I bought these. Um, I don't think anyone should buy knockoffs. Um, I, this, the only intentional knockoff I purchased was the shoe. <laughs> and I wanted to buy the actual Gucci's, but I bought my Louis Vuitton Alma VB and I was like, let me choose one or the other because your girl has goals. Let me buy these on Amazon. If I love them, I'll purchase the actual Gucci's next season. I wear these all the time. I think they're worth the purchase for me. Um, to actually invest in splurge. It's more of a splurge because they're, they're, anyways, for the actual Gucci's. Um, these, this specific pair has since sold out. Um, I'll link what styles are currently available. Someone sent me a link to the men's, um, which looks exactly the same. It's just men's sizing. Um, but yeah, I mean, these were a great buy for me. Definitely now I'm like, all right, I'll buy the Gucci for real now. That's the end of that one. So I saw these going around what's that thing called instagram but the actual ysls i do know that these are ysl dupe but these are not legit knockoffs nowhere on here or is it pretending to be a ysl class <laughs> sunglasses um so these i these are my favorite i wear them almost every single day i keep these in my car these are like my car sunglasses because nothing says casual driving like heart sunglasses I have them in the black and then I also have them in the pink. Um, I ended up not liking the pink. I bought them for fun and like just to wear during the summer, but the lens I got in a pink tint and I actually need dark glasses for my eyes. And um, yeah, that shit doesn't cover it. It's, you might as well just not have sunglasses on at all. So I bought the pink ones. I don't like them or wear them, but they were, they were fun to have. They were only $10. Love these, highly recommend them. Would probably not buy, I would not buy the YSLs because these are $10 on Amazon, I'm just saying. And our last Amazon designer dupes are all Cardi A dupes. Um, y'all, don't judge my struggle bracelet. So this is, and this isn't like a hardcore dupe. I think this is, I think this is a dupe, not a fraudulent item. Um, this did have a screw bar right here and I wear mine all the time, but one day a week or two ago, I came home, I had it on. Look how cute that would be if the bar was actually there. I'm gonna order this from Amazon right now, actually. Okay, I'm ordering a new one. Um, I came home, I unscrewed it. I'm standing by my table where I keep all of my jewelry and I got distracted and I walked away and the bar came out and I don't know where it is. It has to be in the house somewhere, but I don't know where. Um, so I haven't been able to wear it, but I love it. I think it was like 10 or $15. Um, these are actual, the ring that I'm wearing and then the bracelet are legit Cartier knockoffs, which I did not know, nor did I intend to buy the actual knockoffs on Amazon. It just looks similar to the Cartier love ring and bracelet. And then I've been wearing it. <laughs> I've been wearing it for like, a week or two and I was showing on Insta stories. I was like, oh, look at the ring. And then I look and I'm like, this mother joker says Cartier inside. So it like says Cartier inside the brace or inside the ring. Um, this is one of the thicker rings. Let me get closer. This is one of the thicker rings. Um, I've had the ring 
I've had both of them since the summer. I just started wearing the bracelet because the bracelet locks just like the legitimate Cartier, so you have to use a screw to get it off and on. And I knew I wasn't gonna do that. Um, but the ring I wear all the time and I wash my hands with it on. Um, and it, I feel like it's faded a bit. I don't think you can tell that well because it's not like I'm using a, a good camera. But it's, I feel like it's faded a bit, but not really that much. So I went ahead and put the bracelet on. I've locked it on. I feel like I've had it on for a week. I shower twice a day. <laughs> don't judge me how much I shower. Um, perfume, lotion, it still hasn't turned yet. So that's good. Um, we'll see, I might order more. That's all. So that is all for our Zara and Amazon designer dupe haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you made it this far, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Um, we will see you guys next time. Bye.